Okay, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Stephen Davidson here in the shave video. It's early Sunday morning. It's about 48 degrees downtown. We got back about two hours ago and whatnot, so I thought I'd go ahead and get a shave in before I turned in for the night. So let's get started. I'm going to go with my uh, pre shave, my Cremo cooling menthol. And it's back. Going with my Omega 10019 synthetic bore. I've missed this puppy. Going with the Rockwell 6C. And I decided to go ahead and start with a fresh blade. And I've got a Parker blade in there with a number two base plate. I've tried these before and they were fantastic. So I'm going to try them again. More on that in a bit. And the star of today's party, I was craving it. Uh, Katie's Bubbles Knee High Tour Grape, which is a real deep grape soda scent. And I'm going to finish it off with good old Aqua Velva. Classic ice blue aftershave. Bowed out. Need to get more of it. So let's wet the face. Just get out of the shower and everything's nice and hydrated. I'm going to wash it out thoroughly. But still, it is wet saving, so you need a lot. Alright. While I'm loading up, I'm going to discuss the changes. They're good. And a few ideas that I come across. I need to dump off the blue water. Oh, man, does that smell good. Makes me thirsty. I have decided, as I load up here, to keep the Cyberlink Power Director app on my phone and use it for videos and keep it at 720p so people can uh, watch it better and easier for them to upload and whatnot and not take as long. Uh, it'll take a little bit longer on my end, but not much. I couldn't see no difference between the two, to be honest. In fact, after I got done doing it... Uh, I was pretty much ready to roll. That'll do. And I will be changing the way I shave. Hold on a second. And dang, I forgot my pre-shave. Oh, well. Tell you what, I'll just get that on there and put my pre-shave on. Just to put the leather off. But anyway, um, I noticed something when I was going through the playbacks, um, watching my uh, videos and whatnot, so what I could do to make them better, answer any questions or comments or what have you. I always do that, and I noticed something. Uh, there will be no more south to north passes in my shoes. I find that every time I do that, I end up with some serious sweepers. And every time I don't do that, well, I end up with a killer shave. Put my pre-shave cooling on. I can tell I'm going to need it. There we go. All right. I'm going to go out of sorts today. But that's okay. So we're going to do that, or I'm going to do that from now on. We're going to start repeating certain passes that give me pretty good clean results, but I'm not going for the baby smooth shaves. That's, what you, that's not your goal. If you want a baby smooth shave, stick with the cartridges. But along comes with that uh, irritation. Ingrown hairs, razor burn, and the list is endless. So, it's pretty much better to do that. Than it is to try to go for a BBS with a DE. Just go back to a cartridge if you need to do that. If you need a BBS. 
I don't go for BPS. I just go for a clean, comfortable shave. Let's lather up. I've also been told not to give up on the leaf and to try the Derby Premium Half Blade. And in addition to the Permashrank half blades. And I was also told that I should look at into buying some cork and start corking some blades. They said it deburs them and makes them more comfortable. And my buddy Tim Schull, the vintage shaver, uh, he done that with a hard blade and he's enjoying the crap out of it. In fact, he's just done his third shave today. Which is really cool. Normally, about third or fourth shave, I'm ready to toss it. So, I think if I start doing that, in addition to just going with the grain and across the grain passes, I should be okay. No weepers or anything. And there's and would you look at that? Look at that! Look at that! Wow! Kenny's bubbles has always been a top shelf performer. Uh, yogurt, anyone? And I can tell I've done the right thing by putting that pre shave on because it's really slick. Got about four days worth of beard growth. So that's what I've decided to do and what I'll be doing. And somebody suggested us to try the leaf with the half braids, the half DE, uh, not the sharks, but the Derby Premium. And uh, I should look into getting some cork for uh, corking blades, which is not a problem. Considering I used to be a home brewer and distiller. No problem at all getting cork. I give up on it. When my acid reflux kicks in. I can't drink and being a Christian. I don't drink anyway in three. Family history and alcohol and the amount of work that goes into it. No. All right, let's see what happens with this Parker Blake. And I'm liking it so far. Very comfortable. Very nice. Way better than the nicest in terms of comfort. Mm, nice. Very, 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 very nice. Another thing that was pretty cool this time around, I didn't get tagged for the non-dominant hand shave. I guess because it doesn't matter now because I used to be a straight razor shaver and I could use my left hand or my right hand to shave with so I guess that's why they didn't tag me. I'm not complaining.
I tell you what, these Parker blades are the cat's meow with another two base plate and a Rockwell 6C white chrome. They're really nice. Very nice, first pass. Took down a huge chunk of my beard, too. Look at that. Now we talking. Now we talking. Heck yeah. Give me a rinse. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, this is where things get real interesting. Normally, in the past, I would do south to north, even cheeks, mustache, everywhere. I'm not going to do that no more, because every time I do, I get weepers. So, with that being said, I'm going to go east to west now. I'm just going to repeat the width of the grain pass on my neck. Now, new guys, if you're not comfortable going against the grain, don't. Just do what I'm doing right here. And if you don't want to go across the grain, just repeat the width of the grain pass as many times as you need to. It's your face. It's your, it's your shave. Make it your own. If somebody tells you, oh, you didn't go against the grain, blah, 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 tell them to stick it. It's your skin. They're not you. It's your shape. It's your choice. Don't let somebody bully you into trying something you don't like. Another thing that drives me crazy is people that go for the BBS. Don't do that. As I stated earlier, if you want a BBS, go back to using cartridges and stick with a soap and brush, and you'll be okay. All right, see where we're at. Very nice. Oh, we're real good on my neck. <clears throat> right. 
There it goes. Get a little more water. The shave I'm going for, socially accepted. I'm going to go from the nose towards the ear. Excuse me just a minute. And now I'm going to go from the nose towards the ear on the other side. Little spot right here under the cheek. Right there. And that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's get a rinse in. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. But Okay. Turn it out real good. Do some more wiping and switch over the coat.
Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. All right, now cold water rinse, which always is good in the wintertime. So I'm going to try to leave one more time or two, but I, it's going to be after payday because uh, I'm also wanting to try my single edge Hawk version one single edge uh, Feather Pro, but I can get cork and blades for it first. Hit my ear and fold. Just, just doing a whip it great pass using that one in my straight razor technique. It was a one pass shave BBS. Maggard Razors, oops, upside down. Maggard Razors, Alan Buck. Alright. Well, how about that? Almost no sticking from now on, Buck. Mm-hmm. Dry it off and then I'll do a quick recap. Okay. I went with Cremo pre-shave refreshing mint. Shave cream I use as a pre shave. I went with Bio Omega Synthetic Bore 10019. I went with the Rockwell 6C with a number two base plate and a fresh. I can get it out. Parker Blade. And as I stated with the number two base plate, and the star of today's party was Cage Bubbles, knee high to a grape. Let's get another cold water rinse in. And how about that? Just one tiny bump just got mowed off. And that's it. No weepers or nothing. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Okay, and now to finish it off with good old Aqua Velva. Classic case blue says I go. Very, 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 very nice. Maybe I ought to go to Amazon and buy a whole case of that. Nice, clean, comfortable shave. More than socially acceptable. No weepers or anything. And I didn't even go against the gray, except on my chin. Mm. Mm. Very, very, very nice shave. 
All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care and God bless. See you on the next shave.